Welcome to, uh, this is uh, Thanksgiving 2010. Heard, heard uh, family Thanksgiving. What did the snail say while riding on the turtle? What? <laughs> Give a message to your future wife, to the camera. She's not seeing this, so I don't have to. She, well, she, she might. You may want to show her. No, I'm excited. Very excited. Everyone else is excited too. So. Things are looking up. Dad. Okay, so there's a guy and he walks into a library. He walks up to the front desk and goes, Excuse me, can I have a uh, cheeseburger, fries, and a shake? Excuse me. You can't laugh. <laughs> okay, so guy walks into the library and said, and said, uh, excuse me, can I have a cheeseburger, fries, and a shake? And she goes, pardon me? And he goes, can I have a cheeseburger, fries, and a shake? She goes, sir, this is a library. This is a commercial uh, sponsored by ClearShift Communications. Oh, okay. uh, your yeah, wireless yeah. internet service provider, you're in South Florida. If you happen to be in the metropolitan area of Atlanta, please contact ClearShift Atlanta with all your fixed wireless needs yeah. and telecommunications needs. Please call Tom Hurd. Look him up, you'll find him. God is great, God is good. We thank him for this food. Yea, God, we say unto you, thank you, Father, for bringing us all together once again. And for all our family and all of our close friends. I want to share this wonderful moment of Thanksgiving. And I want to share this moment of prayer with you. And your mother this time. And you have given us life on earth and life everlasting. As to your son, the sacrifice. So bless us with who are you to make us truly thankful. Amen. 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 Seats. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. The green bay. I think we got pretty good hot dogs. And I believe in the first year of the HFL. Let me just congratulate here the commish, Ryan. Ryan's done a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I don't think we've ever heard 23 jokes or 46 or 13 jokes here at this table at any Thanksgiving. I think it's about five. Five? I think if you're going to prove me wrong, do so tonight. A three-legged dog walks into this. Sorry, can't do a word in there. They're already laughing. Place of, um... Twelve! Number twelve! Let me tell the truth. Three-legged dog walks up to, to the saloon. I love twelve! <laughs> and Miss Kelly, this is uh, a oh, like three-legged dog. Three dog. Three three dog puts his paw and says, Give me a milk. I have one. So oh, Miss Kitty gives him a milk. And so Miss Kitty so runs over to, to uh, Chester. Says, Chester, Chester. Murray. Three-legged dogs in town. I think he's looking for trouble. So are you sure, Miss Kitty? Three-legged dogs in town? And he's looking for trouble. So, so Chester goes. <laughs> Over to Marshall Dillon says, Mr. Dillon, Mr. Dillon, three like dogs in trouble in town, and I think he's looking for trouble. He says, Are you sure? Says, yeah, maybe he's over there at the bar. And so, so Marshall Dillon walks over, you know. He goes over, sits down next to three legged dog. He looks him in the eye. He says, Three legged dog, are you looking for trouble? Two-legged dog turns to Marshall Dillon and he puts his milk down and says, no. I'm just looking like I had to shot my paw. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 So, that's the three-legged dog. Okay. I think I've matured enough to be sitting at this table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a job. See this? The point is... Is it a poisonous snake? I don't know if it's a snake. Oh, he wants some more of this. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Charlie. Hello. 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 Hello.
scale, I remember, <laughs> put it to go and talk to your car dealer. And what he said was, I want this car with a big Superman symbol on the top. That big S. He goes, what do you want that for? He goes, because when I drive this car by, I want everybody to say, hey, look at that S car go. <laughs> Amy! Pumpkin? Do you want to tell God, this is it! And I grabbed the tongue of this thing. And um, I said, as I was there, he said, uh, um, wait a minute. He goes, um, 62. <laughs> <laughs> the joke is way too long. <laughs> Jokes? <should> catch up. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old. Leroy introduced me to this friend of mine, <laughs> and uh, actually, Leroy introduced me to one guy who's a friend of Leroy's, now it's a friend of mine. And he basically wanted to, uh, uh, you know, he just really wanted to get closer to God and serving, and he really felt like it was time to devote himself. So Leroy said, well, listen, I know the Pope, you know, and so watch this. I think I can get a place for you to, to really go something in, in Boise, Idaho. And you know Leroy too? <laughs> so anyhow, he goes to, goes to this, this monastery and uh, the head monk says, Welcome, welcome, I'm glad you could make it here. And, uh, uh, I'm glad you know you're going to be devoted. And, but uh, just want to let you know we have, a, we have one policy, it's a, a vow of silence. Every year, though, you do get to say two words. I mean, it's very, uh, so he said, that's okay, it's no problem. So he, month after month, helps the orphans and does cleaning, does lots of things. And after years up, the, he sees the head monk, and the head monk says, well, it's been a good year. Do you have anything to say? Just give me two words. He goes, it's probably a bed hard. So he's okay, let's keep going next time. He knows and works hard and cleans and helps the orphans and comes back a year later and sees the head monk and says, Well, you have two words to say, you have anything you like to say? He said, Food bad. So he goes, Now a year goes by, he comes back and says, Well, you have two words, do you have anything to say? I quit. This is way on that figure, because ever since you got here, all you've done is complain. Oh! Oh! When Leroy got over there, we're out, it's a big crowd, because it's, you know, it's the Easter Sunday, it's the Vatican, and you know how they have that little balcony? Well, I got Leroy right there just waiting, kind of waiting for the book to come out across, and all of a sudden, after her, I'm like, where's Leroy? Did you think that he, like, he just really didn't know the book? Well, you know, he just wanted a trip to Rome, and I think he just wanted to get the first class ticket, you know, into, into town. And I thought, okay, whatever. I, I figured he didn't know, and so, and all of a sudden, the book book starts walking across on the, you know, on the, on the little balcony there, with the, with Leroy, arm in arm. And of course, you know, I failed. <laughs> you were in shock. <laughs> you couldn't believe it. You know, was I, that why you, was why you painted? It wasn't. It, 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 wasn't, uh, the, it was, wasn't the fact that he knew Mayor David Lee, Godfather. And you were in the Pope Mobile, huh? Just you know, around the balcony. No, just up on the balcony. But the thing is, um, so, but, it, and I wasn't. And quite frankly, it wasn't bad that the, the guy, you know, knew Ronald uh, Reagan, or he knew uh, uh, Tricky Dick. Tricky Dick. But you know, and I you know, it wasn't bad that he even knew the Pope. But when the guy next to me. He says, hey, who's that guy standing next to me? <laughs> <laughs> so this guy decides to join a monastery.